Hi and welcome back to WC Marketplace. In this video, we will learn to set up vendor payments and commission. Simply go to WooCommerce from the admin dashboard, WCMP, click on the payment tab. Under payment settings link, there are three sections, revenue sharing mode, what to pay and how or when to pay. Under revenue sharing mode, you can choose from either admin fees or vendor commissions. Admin fees is what the admin charges per unit sale or per transaction or both while the rest is paid to the vendor. Vendor commission on the other hand is what the admin pays the vendor per unit sold or per transaction or both. Under what to pay section, choose a suitable commission type from the vast range of available options. Enter a commission value say 10 as we have entered here. If the admin fees is selected and commission type is fixed amount, the admin receives a fixed sum of money here $10 per unit sale while the rest of the amount goes to the vendor irrespective of the price of the product. While if vendor commission would have been selected, the vendor would receive $10 per unit sold while the rest of it would be received by the admin. If percentage has been selected as the commission type, the admin receives 10% of the transaction value as the admin fees while for the vendor commissions, the vendor receives 10% of the transaction value while the rest in each case will be received by the remaining party. If percentage plus fixed per transaction is selected, you will notice that commission value changes to commission percentage and fixed amount. Let's set both to 10. And suppose the product costs $100. In case of admin fees, the admin will receive 10% of 100 that is $10 plus a fixed amount of $10, thereby receiving a total of $20, while the rest $80 is paid to the vendor. In case of vendor commission, the process is just the opposite. On selecting percentage plus fixed per unit and setting percentage and fixed amount to 10, the same condition is repeated with the exception that now it occurs on a per unit basis rather than per transactional basis. Now the calculation occurs is as such, if the customer orders two of the same product in a single transaction, the commission will be separately calculated for both the products. Say the product costs $100 each. For the first product, the admin will receive $20 and for the second product again, the admin will receive $20, thereby receiving a total of $40, while the rest $160 is received by the vendor. The opposite is repeated in case of vendor commissions. However, Commission for a product can also be set individually. In order to do that, go to Products, select a product, scroll down and click on the Vendor tab. In the Commission text boxes, enter the Commission values. Commission here will work the same way as has been defined in the Payment settings. Defining the Commission flow in the Payment settings outlines the global settings for Commission while defining for each product will override the global settings for that product. Let's go back to our payment settings tab. If share coupon discount is left unchecked, the admin will bear the cost of the coupon. That is, if a product costs $10 and the vendor commission is set at 70% and the coupon gives a discount of say 20%, then the vendors will get their due amount that is $7 but the admin originally was supposed to get $3 but now the discount will be deducted from the admin's payment and hence will receive a payment of $1. In case the box is checked, the coupon will now be shared and the product price will now be calculated on $8 instead of 10 The vendor will get 70% of $8 that is $5.6 while the admin gets the rest $2.4. To transfer and add the tax and shipping charges collected per product to the vendor's commission, check the boxes for tax and shipping. If unchecked, these charges will be received by the admin and won't be added to the vendor's commission. Enter a threshold amount that is required for the vendor to request his commission disbursal. In the how or when to pay section, the admin can choose to disburse commission automatically or allow vendors to request the commission earned. If automatic disbursal mode is checked, the vendor will receive his commission periodically as has been set by the admin in the set schedule segment. 
Admin can also choose the payment method that is either by PayPal Mass Pay, PayPal Payout or by direct bank transfer. Checking Request Disbursal mode, the vendors will be able to request their commission to be disbursed from the dashboard to charge vendor for each withdrawal of commission, enter an amount here. To allow number of free withdrawals, enter a number here. After all the payment settings have been modified, click on Save Changes. To activate PayPal Mass Pay, click on PayPal Mass Pay link. Enter the PayPal API username, password and signature. Similarly, to enable PayPal Payout, click on PayPal Payout link. Enter the client ID and secret. To enable PayPal Sandbox, you can check the box for Enable Test Mode and then click on Save Changes. To check the status of commissions, go to WCMP Commissions under WooCommerce. This page enlists all the vendor commissions against sales sorted per item ordered and also lists the status of commissions earned by the vendor whether it is paid or unpaid. The commission statuses change automatically but can also be manually changed. To change the status of a commission and view details of it, click on a commission. Here you can see the details regarding the commission and here you can update the status of a commission. Select paid if the commission has been received by the vendor and reverse when an order is cancelled by the customer and hence vendor will not receive any commission for the same. That is when the reverse status is used. Click on update lastly. With this we come to the end of our video. If we have been a little help to you, do hit the like button. And to know more of WCMP, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.